CNC are in Stockton today in Warwickshire. We're at a company called Cajul. Now, if you're interested in how social media works within this industry, this is a video worth watching, especially if you're interested in Facebook and how powerful it is. Carl, good morning, nice to see you. Um, tell us a little bit about this machine you've got here from Dugard that you bought. It's a 2000 XP, we've got a, a big Nikon table on here. Yeah. It's a hell of a machine. Why did you need a machine of this size? Uh, we've been uh, making press tools for a long time, and one of our main customers They'd got a press that had got a two meter table on it. So obviously we needed to get a two meter machine to make two meter press tools. Uh, the addition of the five axis table was to support our other customers as well. We're doing a lot of work with exhaust manifolds for Caterpillar, Perkins and JCB. And we thought it'd be a good venture to put a five axis table on this two meter machine and just see how we're getting on machining those components on that, and then obviously having this big table to do big press tools when they come along. Would you say it's quite unusual for a subcontract manufacturer like yourself to have a machine with this working envelope around this area? There aren't many of us. I know of a couple, but yeah, there are And that, that's a good thing for you because it gives you the edge. When you talk about press tools, we, we've got to, or we'll have a look at one in a minute, but you're doing lots of U-drilling operations, lots of metal removal on those, aren't you? Yeah. So you, you, you need quite a powerful machine. This machine's got a, an 18 kilowatt spindle with a peak loading of 22 kilowatts. It's got 12,000 RPM if we need it, spindle coolers, uh, through spindle coolant of 35 bar and 36 station tool changer. It's a very, very powerful machine and it's got a very good controller on it as well. This is the XP, so the XP stands for extra performance, which is why you've mentioned all those things, because that's what you get, isn't it? It is what we get, and that's what we really need. It's, it makes us more efficient, higher metal removal rates. Um, we're looking at moving up to 220 cubic inches um, per hour, I think it is, of mild steel. And when you're looking at big press tools, you need to be removing that sort of material. This this five axis unit here, have you had much use out of this yet or are you in It's all new, it's all shiny and new at the moment. We uh, only moved in here on the 12th of December, so that is what, just over a month and a half ago. Uh, the machine was uh, put down then, has been commissioned, and the five axis table was commissioned only last week. So this is going to be a new venture for us. Let's have a look at a couple of these parts that you might be doing. Yeah, sure. So this is this is typical of the sort of casting work we do. So on this component here, we'll have made the pattern equipment, commissioned the casting at a foundry, and then conventionally we'll have made this using multiple setups on three-axis machining centre. So it's our hope that we're going to be machining this sort of work on five-axis, uh, all in one hit if we can. It must be a hell of a job without something like this because you've got a lot of changeovers, a lot of setting to do. I think what we're looking to do really is eliminate errors. Obviously, if there's one set, we haven't got multiple sets, multiple opportunities for someone to do something wrong. So one set, put it on there. Eventually, we'll get on machine verification and inspect the job on the machine as well. I would look at a table of this size and say you don't really need one this big for a part of that size. But is your reason for going for something this big again to give you more flexibility to take on larger five axis work? Yeah, you, can, uh, you can't crack a big nut with a little hammer. You can do it the other way around. I, I think it's always a wise decision to get plenty of space, plenty of capacity. So if you're gonna buy a five axis table, yeah, let's get a big one. One thing that strikes me around your factory as well is your, you've got Siemens control on this machine the 8 to 8 dB, you've got FANUC controls as well. Often we go into machine shops and they, have a, they, have, they, they favor one or the other, but you, 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 you well, can well, use both. Well, for us, really, uh, the controller is a dumb thing. Uh, what's most important is the speed of processing. We do all of our programming offline. We use WorkNC, we use Busy for design. We use WorkNC for calculating the paths. Very, very powerful software. So all we really need is a good, powerful controller. Our preferred system at the moment is the Siemens 828. It's uh, very, very cost effective and very powerful compared to the Heidenhain. So a lot of the work you do on here is, is 3D work? It is 3D work, yes. Particularly when we're looking at car body panels, uh, a lot of that is 3D. There's very, very little 2D conventional machining on it. And for that you need high-speed processing, you need, you need a, a high-feed machine, you need a high-speed spindle, and you've got all those here with a bigger envelope too. Yeah, definitely. It's the because we're using uh, WorkNC software, uh, we're generating all of our programs offline. We transmit them across the company network, straight in via Ethernet, into the controller. And what we're looking for is good read ahead, 
on the controller, and, and that's it. Because we are producing 3D, everything is 3D, really. I opened up this, this dialogue today by talking about social media and Facebook, and I know you, you're a big fan of social media platforms. I know you've seen our videos and, and you use things like Facebook and so forth. This machine, one of your colleagues was telling me earlier, he was tagged into a video on Facebook. That's where he saw it, saw a video there, and then you went on to obviously have this machine in here. You're an advocate of the uh, social media platforms, and this proves that they do work for other engineers, doesn't it? Yeah, it's quite incredible, really. We, we, were, we were here machining uh, the other evening, and it was a job that we'd got to get out, and we're putting lots of hours into it. And uh, one of the lads just videoed, this is what I'm doing at 8 o'clock at night, and someone at a Formula One team that he's friends with said, don't worry, mate, I'm actually doing our new driver's car at the moment. So immediately I know that my workshop is being shared with someone who works at an F1 team, which means all of his mates in the F1 team are going to be seeing it, and then everybody else that's connected to him is going to be seeing it too. So immediately I know that just through something as innocuous as sharing a video of, that's been filmed in my company is being shared around the place, and I'm not having to do anything for it. It's just been done. Hugely powerful, powerful platforms. When you have a machine in, installed here, we can't, we can't uh, stop this dialogue without asking you about your relationship with Dugard. You, you've got a lot of machines from them, but this particular two-meter machine is your, is your most recent one. What's the history there, Carl? So I've been uh, buying Dugard machines uh, uh, for, since just past 2000. Uh, the first Dugard machine we bought, I think it was 2001, uh, was a little 600 machine. I found them very, very supportive, extremely good on uh, technical support, and obviously things do break down, and their service is absolutely impeccable. I've even been here at... Uh, just walking out the door at half past five, something's gone wrong. I've picked the phone up and the engineer has been here at 7.30 next morning, which to me is fantastic because I, I don't want to stare at a machine that's not working, waiting for an engineer. I want to stare at an engineer shaking my hand as he's walking out the door having fixed my machine. And Dugard have been very, very good service, very, very good on support when we need to get the right machine at the right time for the right price. They're there. Uh, good, honest, stable machines that do what they say they do. Well, I'm sure this machine's gonna give you the edge over your competition. Thanks for your time today, Carl. No problems. Cheers.